If you are a craft lover, I'm going to teach you how to create a digital scrapbook on Adobe InDesign. So keep on watching. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia from Akaihana R. And for those who don't know me, I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. And here on YouTube, I make videos about illustration, design, and creative business in general. So if you like these subjects, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you won't miss any of my videos. In this occasion, I'm taking you with me to create several pages layout for a scrapbooking. And I'm doing this in Adobe InDesign. I'm going to show you what features you can use uh, to make it easy for you and I'm going to show you how you can export it for Notability or GoodNotes or Soto or any note-taking application that you like. So let's see how it's done. So what is the difference and why am I making this um, scrapbooks on InDesign? <clears throat> InDesign is a software made for designing editorials like books, magazines. When you create a new project, um, he allows you to create the shape that you want, but every time that you add a page, uh, the pages automatically are going to be facing each other except for the cover and the back cover. So that's really nice when you want to have a layout that you have one page has to do with the other one that is facing. So that's one of the features I love the most about InDesign. And another one is to see the software that fits the most with your being comfortable designing. So here we are in InDesign. I already made up a little bit of a cover. It's not too, too complete. I don't want to spoil anything uh, from the product, uh, but um, I want you to see uh, how it's more or less going to be when you create your own uh, scrapbook. As you can see, the theme for this scrapbook is going to be travel. So you can create a really fun uh, digital product where you put your memories for a really nice travel or a several travels that you make. Adding text feature is going to be a quite different from Illustrator or Photoshop because uh, this this software, as I told you before, is, is a software uh, for editorials. So, in order to the text to have a place to be mm, put in a place where he doesn't go all over the place, literally, uh, you have to make a box. You can add a normal shape like a square or a circle and you can place there the text
Once you have your document ready for export, you want to export it in PDF. Window is going to pop up and ask you a few questions on how you want your document. You can export the whole project or you can export uh, just a part of it. You can export it to be every single page in one PDF document or you want to export everything just in one page or you want to export it that the, the pages that are facing that face so that's the way i'm going to do it i want the pages to be confronted one uh, with the other one uh, because it's going to give a hole uh, into the design <music> That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like videos like this, you can go and watch my, my series of videos on how to create digital products like planners or journals. Um, here's the card so you can go and check that one out. Also on Friday, I will be updating my shop with pages like this, with a package of pages like this for a scrapbooking so stay tuned for that one and finally on friday we'll be uploading a draw with me video where i'm going to be illustrating embellishments for scrapbooking planners or journals so stay tuned for that one also and uh, if you like this video and you want to watch more videos about it give it a thumbs up and spread the love by sharing thank you so much and i will see you next time bye